our ship is ready now to set out on a journey. Adventures await us, so let's not prowl around. From dry frozen countries to the big seas and oceans, we'll always count on the help from Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo and their friends. Tig and Leo! The Two Captains. Tig! A little faster on the wing! Aye, aye, Leo! That's much better now! Yara, keep the rhythm! One, two! One, two! Well done! Now let's take it a little to the right! Hey! Don't forget that the real captain of the ship is me! That means that I am the only one who can give out the commands! And by the way, I never commanded to change course or anything else. Well, maybe uh, we can take turns being Captain Lily. No, wait, forget it. The captain is me. Well, maybe oh. I want to be the captain as well. I have a commanding voice, and I know the ship inside and out. Oh, you know the ship? I don't think so. You just don't feel like sharing, and that's not how friends behave. You guys, don't argue. Leo, but Lily is actually the captain. Let her command the ship. But in my opinion, I think that Leo would be just as good a captain. That's what I'm saying. So that's how it's going to be? Okay, Leo. You could be the captain and forever because I quit. But that's not what I want. You can be the captain, seeing as you're so greedy. No way. I won't do it. Well, I won't do it either. Maybe I could be the captain. No! no! Martik, you're still too small. Okay, look, how about this? We just land the ship. A ship can't sail without a captain. So let's land. Okay, uh, all set. So we don't waste any time. I got it. I have an idea. Uh, we can go and find some kind of food. And some flowers. Sailor Mardik, check the rudder. The rudder's in order, Captain Mardik. Check the condition of the wings. The wings are ready to fly. Excellent, Sailor. Cast off the lines. Casting off the lines, Captain. And away! Captain Bardic rules the sky! <laughs> Oops, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I was only playing. Dig! Lay off! Martin! Oh no, Kuba! I just, uh, uh, I can manage it. After them! Guys, I think that maybe we lost them. Maybe we could ask somebody if they've seen a ship pass by here. Uh-huh. Let's ask somebody, sure. That's a good idea. Except no one's here. <gasps> wow. Those are some beautiful looking flowers. <laughs> this really is something. First off, a huge wooden bird goes flying over my head. And now my tail feathers are being pulled at. What a day. <laughs> Excuse me, but who are you? Who am I? My name is Shandarmer. 
I'm a peacock. Did you just say that you saw a wooden bird? Well, that's our friend Martik. <laughs> Strange friends you have, dear sir. However... Which way did he fly? Where'd he go? Well, all right. I can take you there. Oh, I wanted to stretch my legs anyways. <laughs> Follow me. I still don't understand, Lily. Why exactly can't I be the captain? My dad always said that a leader should never shift responsibility onto others. And that means captains, too. I know how to be responsible. <laughs> Go ahead and be the captain. Since you're so responsible, I already told you. I'm not arguing. Just a minute. Don't give me that. I'm not doing anything. Here we go again. Would you little ones like to hear a story? Anything, as long as we don't have to listen to these two. Well, once upon a time, long, long ago, there were two peacocks with the most glorious of tails. Well, rather like mine, but mine is better. And then, one day, they both found a bush with tasty berries at exactly the same time. Mm, so mouth-watering. But they began to argue over who would get to claim the treat. The first peacock claimed that his tail was the most beautiful, so he should get the berries. But the second peacock claimed the same. And so the argument began, and they argued and argued the entire day away. <sighs> Meanwhile, a little bird flew to the berries and... <laughs> and gobbled them all up. That's it? That's not much of a story. This is the macaque bridge. And over there, in that tree, is your friend, I believe. <laughs> there you go. I'll be off now. I hope that Martik won't try to eat me. <laughs> oh, but who knows? I wonder whether wooden birds eat peacocks. <gasps> oh, the thought of it! Goodbye. Thank you for your help. Well, this bridge doesn't look very strong. Come on, you guys, one at a time. Who's up first? Well, actually, the captain should go first. So, Lily, you go first. You go. You wanted to be the captain. Ah! Hurry up! Our brave captains. <laughs> understand what the peacock's story was about. Uh-huh. Nothing but trouble can come from silly arguments. <gasps> the tree isn't gonna hold much longer. Climb onto my back! You know, 
Tig. While we were arguing, you behaved like a real captain should. Me? Yeah, you. You showed us both that a real captain isn't the one who merely gives commands, but rather the one who cares for the team. Ah, oh, nope. I'm not interested in being captain. It's too much hard work. It's okay. Let Lily be in charge when we're flying in the air, and you, Leo, when we're on the ground, like always. And I can be the captain commander of arguments. But what's that? It's for when you two decide to start arguing over who's the real one in charge of the crew. Ha! That works. <laughs> I agree, too. You know what? <laughs> I can be the captain of the water. Um, well, I guess if we fall into the sea or something. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but we're okay right now. <laughs> <laughs>